delighted to dedicate a new home for Mr. Wilbert Dion and his family here along Grand Caillou. Mr. Dion's home is the 24th built through the amazing partnership of Bayou Community Foundation and our volunteers with MDS StormAid for families here in Dulac and along Grand Caillou and in Chauvin since January of 2022. Well, good afternoon, everyone, on this um, beautiful afternoon along Grand Caillou in Terrebonne Parish. Uh, it is a very, very special day because today we welcome Mr. Wilbert Dion and his family to their new home. Congratulations, Thank Mr. You. Wilbert. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, uh, my name is Jennifer Orman. I'm executive director of the Bayou Community Foundation. And the Bayou Community Foundation is the funding partner for this remarkable, impactful, inspirational Hurricane Ida housing recovery program that today celebrates the completion of 24 new homes built for families in this community over the past 18 months. What a what a accomplishment. And more than the accomplishment itself and the great moment we celebrate today with Mr. Wilbert is the fact that this program has brought together people from across our community from across Terrebonne Parish, and most importantly, people from all the way from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, our great friends and volunteers with MDS StormAid. Thanks, thanks to the grace of God who put all of these pieces of the puzzle together, who brought BCF and StormAid and our donors and our local partners together, we are seeing a rebirth of this Bayou community far faster than any government program could ever deliver. And it is fueled by volunteers and by philanthropy. What a great testament to the heart and the hands of our people here and our friends from Pennsylvania. Um, we, I know I speak on the behalf of Bayou Community Foundation that we are so delighted to have been a part of this tremendous program, to be able to welcome families like Mr. Dion home, along with the Duplantises and the Parfaits and the Verdans and all the other families that now have a home. Thanks. Yes, Mr. Adam, that's you. <laughs> all the all the other families uh, who can now say they have a home again on the bayou. Uh, so many people after the storm um, asked me, people from across the country posed a question to me. Uh, why don't these people just leave? Why don't you just pick up and go somewhere else? And I think each and every one of you would probably agree with me that this is home. And there is no other place that you'd rather rebuild your life and rebuild your home than right here right. along Grand Caillou. Right, yeah. Mr. Wilbert? Yep. God's work to be honest with you. I am very blessed to have been picked to, to get one of these houses. 
I almost cried, man. I almost cried downstairs when I first talked to my, to my daughters. Well, I'm very nervous and happy at the same time. I was living in a mobile home right here in this area, right here in the same spot. Yes, I want to say thank you to everyone that, that was part of this, building this house. I am truly blessed and thank God. So um, as everyone knows, Hurricane Ida caused massive destruction across Terrebonne Parish. Um, the Grand Caillou community was particularly hard hit. And after the storm, there were so many families living in tents, living in their cars, living in homes that were really unsafe to live in. And so Bayou Community Foundation decided early on to um, help in any way we could. And we knew that housing was a top priority. We were blessed to um, meet the wonderful volunteers from MDS Storm Aid from Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, who were looking for a place to do housing recovery work after Hurricane Ida and developed a partnership um, we raise money to buy building supplies and they repair and rebuild the homes. They have rebuilt 24 for us in the past year and a half. And um, homeowners were chosen based upon an extensive application process that was administered by Holy Family Catholic Church and volunteer case managers.